Kayaking or canoeing is a great way to get outdoors and enjoy being on the water throughout the summer. Oldham Creek's estuary is a beautiful aquatic ecosystem that visitors can paddle through and observe many native wildlife and plants that live here. Please join us on this canoe trip as we talk about how to obtain a permit, the importance and characteristics of freshwater estuaries, ongoing research and monitoring projects, and why it's important to protect and respect Ohio State Nature Preserves. Before paddling on the water, visitors must obtain a permit through ohiodnr.gov. Click on the link within the description to get access to a permit application. The online form should look something like this. After submitting the permit application, visitors will get an email with their permit and should either print it or write the permit information on a piece of paper. On the day visitors would like to be out on the water, place the permit or permit information on the dashboard of the vehicle. The launch site is located at 2005 Cleveland Road East. Make sure you are properly prepared before heading out onto the water. It is always smart to check the weather forecast ahead of time and play it safe if inclement weather is predicted. Personal flotation devices are required by law for all boaters. Also, public guided canoe trips are offered at Oldham and Creek, typically from June through September. Visit or call our visitor center for further information regarding our guided canoe trips. We start our trip by paddling around Star Island and then we venture past the railroad bridge. We paddle along the main channel towards Highway 2 bridge exploring some of the wetlands and mudflats. Afterwards, we paddle back to visit a few research and water quality monitoring sites. Canoeing back to the launch site concludes our trip. Remember before getting on the water, make sure to have all necessary items to enjoy your canoe or kayak experience. Items include a life jacket, a hat, water, sunscreen, and of course, your paddles. Other items visitors are encouraged to bring is a camera and a pair of binoculars. Old Woman Creek is one of the 139 designated state nature preserves in the state of Ohio and one of the 29 designated National Estuary Research Reserve in the U.S. State nature preserves are unique and protected because they contain some of Ohio's rarest and most delicate natural resources. Long-term research, water quality monitoring, education, and coastal stewardships is also conducted through NAIR program. The preserve is managed to allow user access with the least amount of physical impact, therefore certain restrictions are adapted including no fishing, swimming, or pets within the boundaries of the preserve. What makes Old Woman Creek a natural freshwater estuary? A freshwater estuary is defined by two chemically distinct bodies of water exchanging and mixing with each other. The barrier beach periodically opens and closes, allowing water exchange between Lake Erie and the estuary. Another characteristic that makes Old Woman Creek an estuary is that the water levels fluctuate depending on the beach. For instance, if the beach is open, the water level drops as the water exits into the lake. Sometimes the beach is open for long periods and parts of the estuary become shallow. On the other hand, when the beach remains closed, the water level rises. If the beach remains closed for a long period of time, water can be filtered by the sediment, plants, and bacteria, making the estuary nature's kidneys. The estuary is highly productive, meaning there is a diverse food web that supports a variety of organisms. Plants and microscopic plants, which are called phytoplankton, rely on sunlight to generate energy and are the foundation of the food web. For instance, zooplankton, a microscopic group of animals, feed on either phytoplankton or other zooplankton. Then they become food sources for insect larvae and young fish. The insect larvae and fish become food sources for much larger animals such as reptiles and birds. We can see many birds either fishing or taking refuge along the shorelines and coves. Eagles, great white egrets, blue herons, cormorants, and other fish-eating birds are commonly found throughout the estuary. Old Woman Creek is also at the intersect of two main migratory flyways, so visitors may observe a wide variety of other migratory species such as wood ducks, blue-winged teal ducks, and trumpeter swans. This time of the year, we can also see carp spawning within the shallow regions. 
They might spook and bump your canoe or kayak as you paddle through, but nothing to be alarmed about. Oh my gosh, they're, they are moving our boat. Or is that you? No, that wasn't me. No way. We are now making our way towards the railroad bridge. If a train is crossing, we suggest to wait before paddling under as rocks and other debris may fly off the bridge. The estuary has many American whitewater lilies that are beginning to bloom. Their pad has a Pac-Man shape. The yellow lotus lily is also growing and mixed in with American water lilies. Their pad, however, is circular and waterproof, which water droplets collect on the surface. They seem small for now, but later in the summer, they will grow larger and their famous pale yellow flowers will be in bloom. The barrier beach has been open for some time and the water level has stayed low. Some parts of the estuary past the railroad tracks are shallow and some mud flats can be seen. These mud flats can also be considered as wetlands and play a key role in battling climate change by sequestering carbon dioxide. This means that wetland and other terrestrial plants, such as trees, are able to absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and release oxygen. Carbon can also be stored in sediment and soils as plants and animals die and decompose. It is important to be aware that many wetlands have been or are being displaced for human development, which allows carbon dioxide to be released back into the atmosphere. We emphasize the importance of protecting and restoring natural wetlands. This area of the estuary is also a good lookout for muskrats and beavers. Both species are keystone species, meaning they play an important role supporting the ecosystem that they live in. Muskrats construct lodges, a dome-shaped home within the water column, out of woven vegetation. Since they use a variety of plant materials, they create patches of disturbance which may allow other plants and animals to use that space. Muskrats are monitored here because of their importance to the estuary and they are sensitive to fluctuating water levels. They have a precise water depth between 0.1 to 1 meter to construct their homes. The barrier beach will influence their decision of when and where to build. Beavers construct lodges as well, but are much larger and are often made out of trees and branches. Beavers are considered to be terrestrial engineers since they can quickly modify the environment. Using their large and strong teeth, they are responsible for cutting down trees and are able to move tree material around. They construct dams that can reduce water flow and create pond-like formations which support fish and aquatic insects. After exploring the mud flats, we start paddling back along the main channel. The channel is deeper compared to the areas we visited and it makes it easier to paddle back. We recommend staying in the channel to avoid accidental groundings. Visitors are likely to notice a large tower sitting in the estuary. The estuary and many wetland ecosystems also store methane within their sediment. Certain bacteria that live in the sediment create methane through a process called methanogenesis. Methane is another greenhouse gas that can contribute to climate change if wetlands are displaced. Fortunately, if natural estuaries and wetlands are left alone, methane can continuously be stored. The tower records how much methane is in the sediment and in the atmosphere. As briefly mentioned, Old Woman Creek is part of the National Estuary and Research Reserve System, which is abbreviated as NAIR. The NAIR program has several ongoing monitoring projects to understand how natural estuaries function and respond to climate change and other stressors. Water quality monitoring is one of the main projects here at Old Woman Creek where water samples are taken frequently to analyze. Another useful device called a SON are submerged within the water column. A SON is a useful device as it records water quality data every 15 minutes. 
visitors may come across staff working on the equipment. We hope you enjoy joining us on our canoe trip. For guided canoe trip inquiries, call the Visitor Center and we will happily assist you. If kayaking or canoeing isn't your interest, we have several trails around the Visitor Center you can hike on. The launch site and trails are open from sunup to sundown. The Visitor Center is open to the public and visitors should either reference our webpage through ohiodnr.gov or call the Visitor Center for updated hours and events. We hope to see you soon and happy paddling!